Hey folks, here's my rain powered LED using piezoelectricity. Doing this turned out to be much harder than expected. Uh, sitting a piezoelectric crystal out in the rain doesn't work. Unless you're very lucky and you have just the right hard rain. I ended up making this crazy contraption. But to start with, I needed a piezoelectric crystal. I found one in a gift card speaker. I then took it apart and I soldered an LED to the piezoelectric crystal. And then extracted the crystal from the case. So here I am in the shower. And, uh, it's a good source of water droplets for testing this thing. And you can see quite clearly that it works. It's, uh, one important thing though is the height of the water. The water has to fall fairly high. If you put it up here, these water droplets don't have a lot of momentum. So they don't light it up. The redness you see there is just the LED itself. Now here you can see that it is lighting up. So after many experiments and different versions, this is what finally worked. Here's the arrangement I have for uh, catching the rain. At the top is this rain catcher. Water pours down there into this clear tube, and uh, I don't want it, the water getting too high, so I have this overflow right here. Um, the whole idea is there's a small hole at the bottom of the tube right here, and um, in order to overcome the surface tension around the hole, I needed a certain height of water. Height of water equals pressure. Um, but I don't want too much. The height of the water controls the amount of flow as well. So if I have too much water in here, too much pressure, then I get a stream. If I have too little, then nothing gets through the hole because of the surface tension. Um, so that's why I have this spill over here to control the height of the water very precisely. The purpose of the tube is simply to um, uh, prevent wind from redirecting the drops. And down below is where I have the crystal. I found that it worked best when there was nothing directly underneath the crystal itself. That's why here you can see it's hot glued on top of a hollow cylinder. And here's the final result. With everything darkened so the camera can pick up the lit LED. I managed to catch it in action when it was raining hard, giving me enough water every few minutes. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like these videos. Don't forget to check out the Rimstar Org YouTube channel for more of these science and tech videos. And if you have any questions or ideas for other weird science things to try, please leave them in the comments below. Bye for now.